Good morning, all. I'm at the corner of Troutman and St. Nicholas Avenue. I'm out doing some errands, and I just thought I'd take a time to do a, a short video on the gentrification of Bushwick. Uh, this area, it was an industrial area, and down here was pretty desolate. Um, you know, after it got dark, these streets closed up. Nothing going on now. And across the street, that may have been a gas station or some sort of a car repair place. But you can see they're doing work on it. And I understand that somebody applied for a liquor food license. So that's going to become an eatery there. Over there across the street, uh, the walls here in Bushwick, uh, part of the Bushwick Collective, they're just filled with uh, artwork. And it's very pleasant. Over here we have the Bodega Wine Bar. That's been here for maybe a couple years. Been there a few times. Very nice, very nice. They started out just wine and some cheese and now they actually have a weekend brunches so and every time I come by here the place is packed for the brunch so things business business is booming and by the way it's August 5th There's some more uh, murals on the side very colorful across the street actually let's go across the street so now I am on Troutman. I'm going to head down to uh, White Cloth. Some more murals. Very colorful, very intricate. And now, as I had said, there was nothing on this block. Uh, across the street. Looks like they're building some condos. And looks like a shop after that. And then over there, tucked behind that tree, is actually a coffee shop, which we'll go look at. Here, this is 425 Troutman. Uh, the Rookery is coming. Uh, I have to think it's an eating establishment. I don't know if you can see up there. Those are not real. Crows or ravens or something. And over here, there will be another establishment. There's a building permit, so they're working on that. And now, to go across the street, and here is the coffee shop I told you about. They got Wi Fi in it. And it's very minimalistic, really pretty inside. And they actually have a waterfall here. Look at that, a waterfall. Oh, look at this guy. Hey, buddy. Just making sure everything's okay. So, yes, look at that. That's really pretty, a waterfall. Probably go in here later and get something to eat. And there's a waterfall inside. Here's some more murals. Oh, and actually, it's very interesting, across the street is a frame store. Uh, and what better business in this neighborhood of artists than to open a frame store? Murals across the street. What we got here? More construction. And the murals just go from one edge of the building to the next. Very colorful. You know, I don't like graffiti, but uh, this is artwork. That looks very nice. This is a new one across the street. And now I'm at Wyckoff and Troutman. That's the new one there. And behind me, the kitty, which I... That was, that was finished a few weeks ago. I happened to be down here when the artist was completing that. Ah, now one of my favorite eateries in the neighborhood, Northeast Kingdom. Uh, 
six years ago. I think it's actually in 06 he opened up. Um, there's absolutely nothing down here, and I couldn't imagine anybody thinking they would plop a restaurant down here and be successful, but I guess he did have foresight. Guy uh, who owns it is from Vermont, hence uh, uh, the Northern Territory of Vermont is called the Northeast Kingdom. And straight down there, that's uh, Flushing Avenue. Some more murals.